In this video, we are showing you the three easiest way to start your bachata dance depending on how long the intro is. So, let's go! So the intro is one of the most important parts of the dance. Sometimes you just get to know each other and you start dancing, you have never danced before, you have to get to know the level of the other person and then you really have to warm up a little bit and get together. Yes, leader. So the intro is the perfect moment for us to know the level of our followers. So if we are a little bit more advanced and we are noticing that our follower is not doing the bolero correctly or the first part of the intro from these videos, make sure to not do any sensual move. Just keep it light, keep it fun. Don't try to show off or to exaggerate and do stuff that you know your follower can't do. Okay guys, so this first one is the easiest one and it's the one that we're doing when the intro is very small, so only two eights. So we start in the open position and we start with our right hand for the leaders in one, two, three, four. So we're doing a circle and we're doing our step getting closer to the follower in one, two, three, four. And now we repeat with this in five, six, seven, eight. But in this case, we do not change the weight again. So we're staying here with our weight and we just do five, six, seven, eight. For the follower, it's very important that we do the steps like the leader. So we mirror him and we don't have our weight on the other side. So we always have to be on the same side with the weight, always when we do intro stuff. The other thing is the arm. When he brings your arm up slowly, you can really take your time and bring them up and not only just go here and close fast because you want to make it a little bit more beautiful. So you bring them up and make a little circle with your arm. So we continue, we're in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from this close position, we just do a very small bolero, a very slow bolero in one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. So we're only shifting the weight from one side one time and coming back to the other seven, eight, and we start dancing. Okay guys, so this second one is a little bit more complicated, but it's still easy. And it's the intro that we use when the song doesn't have a very short intro. So now we have four eights. So we start the same way. We are in the open position and we come in one, two, three, four, but now we're changing this because we're doing a circle all the way to the top. In five, six, seven, eight, we grab the wrist of the follower and from here we go in one, two, three, four, and now five, six, seven, eight. So leaders, make sure to give the hand of the follower freedom, freedom by not grabbing it and make her from here, but from the wrist and also, the follower is caressing herself, so we're not caressing her. I'm not going one, two, three, four, five, six, and I start. No, never, <laughs> never do that. So it's just the move, but at the end, it's the follower, the one that is doing the caressing. Okay, and we end up closing the position. For the follower, it's important that you also keep the connection to the hand of the leader because he will not grab you very like and take your arm. So you need to connect with him and really try to follow his movement. One small detail to make it look more beautiful is to always follow your with your head the arm movement. So like this, you will put a lot more focus on the arm movement when you start following and looking at your arm. Both of you. <laughs> yes, so there's a big difference, just look at it. If we are not looking at the hand and we're just here, looking at our partner the whole time, even if we're doing the movement perfect, it just doesn't stand out as if we are here going down, up, and down, and up, we close, and now we look at each other. So now that we're in the close position, we already did two eights. So now we're doing a very slow bolero, just in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now we're doing a combination between a bolero and a break forward. So the bolero is going to be a little bit faster, but slower than a normal step. So it's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And we finish it like you saw with a slide. So for the leaders, we need to have contact here with the followers. So here we're still not that close, but now when we start this other one, we really have the connection. So make sure to rotate your body so that you are not touching her with the wrong part. <laughs> and from here, you can have her a little bit more in a close position by bringing your hand a little bit more to the left side, to the outer side, and not here. From here, you have a little bit more control, but make sure not to grab. And we do our step forward in one, two, our way back in three, four, rotate in five, six, prepare a little bit by having your leg here inside and your hip a little bit to the out, and then we go seven, eight with a small slide. For the follower, it's very important that you only keep the connection also with the body parts that you need. Here, it's the lower belly, and don't press your whole body on him and never grab him. The other thing is that you really have to try to dance slowly, that you take the timing that the leader gives you, and that you really try to listen what he wants to do. So from his point of view, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 and one, two, three, four. If you're liking the video so far and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do it now. Do it now because you're gonna forget later. And also, thank you so much for everybody that has bought us a coffee, given us a super thanks, or has become a Patreon. And if you wanna become a Patreon or support the channel, make sure to check the link down below. But now, let's continue with the video. Next one is a little bit harder because now we're doing sensual moves and also we're making it a little bit longer than the previous one so that is when the intro is very long like you just saw so like we said at the beginning we did like one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven, eight, we end here in bolero, so we're up, and from here we do sideways, so we go in one, two, and now we go three, four, and now we do a sideways where we sit down together at the end in five, six, seven, eight, and we continue with the pendulum going up in one, two, prepare the cambre, and then we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. So let's explain the sideways step by step. First, guys, don't do the sideways down. Make sure that you wanna go up. So you go to the side and up. You go in one, two. From here, you change the direction and the weight in three, four. And now you do start the same way in five, six, but now you want to travel diagonally down. So you go with the upper body down, and afterwards, we, you close this part, and you bring the hips down in a pendulum. But we don't stop here, but we keep taking the energy up diagonally with the hips until the end, which makes us the upper body starts reacting. So we fall a little bit, and then we come up. And now that we are here very up, we can, with the upper body, start changing the direction by bringing back to us in a diagonal way. And from here, we can start the cambre with our circular motion of the back. 
Okay, so it's very important that we keep our connection the whole time when we start doing the central stuff. We never um, lose the connection. We don't get back to our position before or anything. We, once we have the connection, we keep it the whole time, okay? And we have to keep it both from both sides. The other thing is that we also have to use our knees now. So always when we do central stuff, we don't want to do them up here, but we also always want to use our knees to push ourselves out and then when we go into the big side wave that we really go down with our knees and we push us out here. The last thing in the Cambre for the follower, we really have to um, take care of our head and the neck. That's why the preparation for the Cambre starts to the front. And this is where your head has to fall to the front and unlock it in that way so you can get back here. If this part doesn't happen and the leader uh, just gives you an impulse back, you will feel like you will hurt your neck. So that's why we have to start to the front. And here you unlock your head and then you can really open everything. Yes. So followers, make sure that in the cambre, you are doing the cambre up. So you're not doing the cambre with your knees here. You're not going like this. And also leaders, make sure to not lead your cambres from here because this is more dangerous for the lower back of the followers. So we want to do the cambre up in the bolero. And the other thing, followers, make sure to, like she said, unlock your head and not keep it locked and do your head like this, your cambres. You want to have this movement, this circular movement using the neck and the head. But leaders, make sure to not grab the followers. She can do the movement by herself and if we're grabbing it, probably she doesn't want to. And the other thing is that we are also, or we could be blocking her movement. By grabbing her neck, we could be blocking how far she can go. So from this point of view, we go in one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and also comment down below which move was your favorite. Check out these other videos that we are sure you are going to love. See you there. <laughs>